For almost 15 years now, the responsibility of overseeing the Snowtrack's real-world Sled of the Year evaluation process has fallen on my shoulders, and to be perfectly honest, it's not an easy task. To make sure we're picking a fair and honest winner, I need to sit down and talk to our extensive list of crew and test riders, find out what sleds they liked most and why, what features worked and which ones didn't, and ultimately, what sled they felt was their absolute favorite all season. One of the things we're most proud of here at Snow Tracks is that our opinions are based on thousands of miles of riding each season. Not just a quick test ride in a field, not just a day or two on the trail. It's day after day after day, riding every sled we have back to back, analyzing and nitpicking each aspect of each sled. I know, it sounds really terrible, doesn't it? Of course, it's not. But what it means is at the end of a season, the opinions we've generated are based on a vast amount of hands-on experience. Determining the real-world sled of the year for 2021 was the easiest it's ever been. Every one of our crew and test riders enthusiastically agreed on the winner. Which is why, instead of going through a list of sleds and narrowing things down like I typically do, I'm just going to announce the sled that won and give a bit of an explanation why. Before I get to that though, I do want to list some of the standout sleds from this season. These are sleds that gained very high praise from our crew for very different reasons. And in no particular order, we have Skidoo's Backcountry XRS 850 E-Tech and the MXZ Sport 600 EFI, Yamaha's Viper LTX GT along with the SX Venom, which brought a new level of fun to our junior test riders, Arctic Cat's Ride 800 stands out as one of our favorite crossover sleds, and Polaris's Indy XC850 and Matrix Indy VR1 were constantly in high demand. These were the sleds that our crew and test riders wanted to ride day after day and had nothing but praise for. But as I said earlier, there was one that simply jumped out ahead of the rest. Polaris's Indy VR1 650 in either a 129 or 137 was a sled which constantly drew big praise. Every person who got off either of these sleds would go on and on about how great they were and how they'd happily lay down their own money for one. The Matrix-based VR1650 perfectly blends what we feel are the most important aspects of a snowmobile. Ride quality, handling, comfort, and power. The front end is as close to snowmobile front end perfection as this industry has ever seen. Handling is incredibly precise and predictable, yet remains light and effortless. Front end ride quality is the best in the industry. The Patriot 650 is a powerhouse of a motor. Its bottom end and mid range has left more than a few of us wondering if any trail rider really needs an 850. It's also smooth at both idle and when you're on the throttle. Power delivery is linear and it's super efficient on both fuel and oil. Ergonomically, the Matrix platform is comfortable and requires the least amount of effort to ride, regardless of whether you're a novice rider or somebody more experienced who likes to ride fast. On top of all that, the comfort and convenience featured included in this package are beyond class leading. Integrated storage is huge with the behind the gauge and under seat locations. The Ride Command 7S display and smart warmers aren't just technology for the sake of technology. It's technology that makes every aspect of your riding experience better. The only part of the Matrix VR1 that isn't class leading is rear end ride quality. Our motion still offers the plushest ride while still maintaining excellent bottoming resistance. With that said, Polaris's Pro CC skid frame is a very close second. When asked if they'd be willing to give up the front end ride and handling of the Matrix in exchange for the slightly better ride quality of the R motion, not a single one of our testers said yes. Now, I do realize that I have just announced another Polaris as the Snowtrack's real world sled of the year, and I also recognize that this is definitely gonna ruffle a few feathers. But our responsibility has always been to simply tell the truth as we have experienced it so that you can have the most accurate and honest information possible when it comes time to make your next new sled purchase. For 2021, the Snowtrack's real world sled of the year evaluation process was the most decisive ever. Now there definitely were sleds from each manufacturer that we really liked and would be happy to ride all winter long. But there's no denying that the 2021 Polaris Matrix Indy VR1650 in either track configuration is at the top of everyone's list. This is evidenced by the fact that the three VR1s we had on the ground this season have a combined total of over 6,000 miles. 
Congratulations to Polaris on winning the 2021 Snowtracks TV Real World Sled of the Year Award with the Matrix-based Indy VR1 650. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.